All right, so hey, we're gonna do a mobility matrix. Um, I'm gonna look at my list over here, but you're gonna do these in consecutive order. Uh, we want you to do them anywhere from two sets of 15 seconds to a minute, so you decide, don't go overboard. You can use a little bit of these before you start weightlifting, but, or before you start the training program, like prior to the workout of the day, but we really want to, you to hit this afterwards. Uh, remember, you can split it up into a couple of days. This is a lot of exercise. I think we have about 10 here. Um, and we'll add some mobility as we go, but we just want to give you a couple options to improve your active range of motion. So with mobility, we're not talking about passive, but your ability to get into that position. So the first one we're going to do is 90-90 plus hip extensions plus hip internal rotation. So what you're going to do is you're going to be on the floor, you're going to be 90 degrees, and 90-90. So you're going to try to stay upright, okay? Right? I can't get all the way, but you can use your arms. You can go from here to here and go 90, okay, then come back. If you can, right, maybe you don't do any arms, boom, and come back, right? You add to that, so you can do some internal rotation of this, you can bring up this leg a little bit, come back down, right? You can go here to hip extension, come back, maybe hip extension again, reach around, come back. But remember, if you can't do this right without hands, you can always use your hands. Right, but make sure your legs are doing most of the work. Next, what we have is a big toe stretch. We have a couple variations. This is for squat mobility too. So like you get in your bear crawl position, shoulders over hands, right? hips over knees. You get up, you're on your toes, and you're gonna just push back, stretch that big toe, right? Hold, come back, right? Hold, if that's too difficult. Remember, you could be here, and you can stretch that back big toe. Push that heel back, push that toe into the ground, drop down, right? So your big toe should be going up, come back, up. Another one we have, right, is ankle dorsiflexion. So you can do this against the wall if you would like, but what we like to do is you're here, okay? Right, you're gonna push that knee forward as far as you can, right? Keep that foot on the ground, come back, right? Push it through, come back. We also recommend stretching your calves, so you're here, so push, you go here, and you push that heel down, you push forward, so push that heel down, but you should feel a stretch along your calf, so I'm here, you can go against the wall too as well, so push that heel down, so you're feeling a stretch on your calf. To get that soleus though, we're gonna bend that knee a little bit, do the exact same thing, right, push it back, right, bend your knee. We'll show you a couple other exercises for your ankles. Um, T-spine. So what we do with T-spine, you're gonna be here, okay? You're gonna get down. So your, your thoracic spine can rotate, flex, and extend. So, which is your mid-back. So cervical, thoracic, lumbar. So you're gonna be here, okay? You're gonna get down to here. You're gonna reach through, okay? Reach as far back as you can without moving your lower back. Take a deep breath. Go all the way through, come back. Reach through again. Boom, come back. Okay, another one we're gonna do for the T-spine, it's great. You're gonna go here, get on your knees. You can do the standing too. Arms are here, right? And you're really gonna push your head through. Don't let your arms go out, just here. Push your head through, push your butt back. Come back. Remember, we're doing this for 15 seconds to a minute. You can do multiple reps in between. Um, the other one we have for rotation, Spine rotation because we're here. Okay, squeeze that ball, squeeze the foam, or squeeze something to your pelvis as a move. Right, you're here. You're gonna rotate as much as you can without moving your pelvis. Come back here. Turn, turn, turn. Come back here again. Deep breath. Turn there. So a few reps, right? Ten reps, fifteen reps. Just don't hold that position. So we're trying to dynamically move, right? Even with that, I'm pushing my head through, I'm coming back, I'm continuing to dynamically move, right, for mobility. Adductor, you're here, right, on knees. You come here, right, you push back, you come forward, you feel the stretch here, you reach back, come back down, feel the stretch, reach, Come back down, do the other side, obviously. Um, hip flexor stretch. 
So we're here, okay? Push that glute forward, right? Big chest, feel the stretch, right? Come back, feel the stretch, come back. If you want to intensify it though, you can go to a couch stretch. So you go here, right? Push that glute forward, feel the stretch, come back, feel the stretch. You can push your knee back a little bit more. You should feel the stretch here, feel the stretch, come back, feel the stretch, come back. Um, so TFL, and then lastly, hip internal rotator. So what you want to do with the TFL, and we're going to do multiple freebies. We'll give you a freebie uh, booklet after, especially foam rolling too. So you're going to cross your legs, and your TFL flexes your hip, right? It internally rotates your hip, and it AB ducks your hip. So that being said, it's your pocket muscle. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to push it away from our body and externally rotate. Okay, if you need to grab onto something, that's fine. So ready? Push away, externally rotate, here, 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 and reach, come back, right? Make sure you're stable. If you need to grab something, grab something. Push away, turn that hip back, and turn, come back. So you're pushing away, you're turning, and you're reaching. That will help, right? Stretch your QL as well. Hip internal rotator, okay? You're here, right? And you're actively gonna push your knee down, internally rotate your hip, come back down, internally rotate your hip, come back down, internally rotate your hip. And then lastly, you'll stay here, right? Most of us are tight here because we're crunched over at work, especially being at home. You're gonna be here and you're literally just going to stretch. Come back here. Come back here, you can make a Y. If you have some type of foam roller or some type of instrument that's gonna hurt your back, right? A pad, anything that you can put your back on, and it's not gonna, it's not gonna hurt as much, you're gonna be here, right? Let your arms hang, feel the stretch, come back, right? Feel the stretch, come back. But remember with the dynamic mobility series, you're moving while stretching. You're not really holding it. Hold it for two, five, eight seconds, and then Come back to it, do another rep. We only want you to do anywhere from 15 seconds, max a minute. Um, look for the freebies that we got. We have a foam rolling, static stretching, more mobility drills that you can decide because there's no right exercise, it's the application of them. So whichever you enjoy will be the best for your program.